Valentine's Day, stir a drop of Jägermeister into some pink lemonade, slice in some strawberry chapstick. Do you have plans for tonight? What are you, crazy? Of course I do. Got a hot date. Come on, scram so I can get ready. Coming up next on World of War, mm -hmm. Hitler and Eva Braun, crazy in love. See me, doctor kissing her. Eh, what have I got to lose? They say for every man somewhere on earth... Gentlemen, prepare for the potentate of the potent date, the know-it-all of the protocol of the booty call. Ooh, the guy who's been here since three this afternoon. It's hard to meet girls when you're paid in chickens. Okay. Do me next. Do me next. Yeah, a monster. Save me. <laughs> Sorry, that was unprofessional. Please go on. Someone who's secretly on your side, making you look good to women. But he can't be more handsome or appealing than you. Okay. How was your Valentine's Day? Very romantic. Homer had the basketball game muted the whole time. Just the dye not only colors your hair, but the fumes wipe the experience from your mind. Hmm. She doesn't seem so worried about her gray hair. No hairstyle. <gasps> oh! Well, what do you kids think of the real me? Huh? I love it. Weedy, you've always been beautiful. But now you're my silver bell. Mm. Hey, wingman, you're supposed to be here like you promised. Oh, thank you, prior obligation. Mwah. My job is to make you look good by comparison, like West Virginia does for Virginia. Small lately? They're like dimes. Yes, that's exactly it. Well, a girl could starve to death. Oh, Lenny, ever get that rebar out of your head? No, they just sewed off the ends and painted over the nubs. Hey, where you going, baby? Need some cooling down, hot stuff? Ah! <laughs> Bert, what happened to your mom's hair? Did she see something scary like the vampire on Sesame Street? Sorry, what I mean is she's not hot anymore. Take that back. Marge, your hair, it's fantastic. Well, thank you. I had hair like that when she went to sleep in her forever box. Do you have any kind of a discount card? What kind of card? Well, you know, maybe you belong to the AA... The AARP? Well, that tears it. I don't want this milk, and I'm not going to take it back. Bart, anything you say here is confidential. Can we close the door? Oh, there is no door. State regulations. Bart, share your most intimate thoughts with me. I don't think I want to. All right. I know there's a camera in you somewhere. Play yourselves? No, we didn't. This is just smoke and ash. What do you think Homer's gonna be a club zipless tonight? I sure hope so. <gasps> go, Granny, go! Look out, chicks! The silver fox! <gasps> I'm looking for Homer Simpson. What, did he eat your candy house and push you into the oven? I've never seen a drunk hold his vomit like you. Rawr. Get your hands off my husband! Birds, put down that broom. You've got nothing to be afraid of from them. I'm a wingman. <laughs> And you know what else this whole experience has taught me? True beauty isn't about hair color. Mom, your choice to go back to blue is so empowering. Dad, did you color your hair too? <laughs> Only my hairdresser knows for sure. <laughs> Please let it be a bear that did this. Keep doing this to yourself. I'm as healthy as a horse. Horses only live 30 years. I'm gonna walk upstairs, take her in my arms, and tell her my good health starts now. Legs pumping, blood flowing, two at a time, heart exploding, pepperoni. Beloved husband, father, 
and poorly informed sports fan. All he did was yell traveling at the screen. Mid your condolences on your bereavement, dear. Stop with the wailing and the gnashing and the life. Homer is not dead. I have made a copy. I'm number two. <laughs> I was able to put Homer's memories in the body of a clone. You're back, just in time for my recital. Somebody kill me. Now, homie, I hope you'll use the second chance to live a more sensible life. Amen, baby. I'm back. Coming through. <laughs> yeah, I can die all I want. <laughs> Homer, you'll be all right, but uh, no solid food for two weeks. Oh, two weeks? Wait a minute! You know what? No. I'm tired of getting my hopes up here. You and your immortal husband can go take a flying leap, huh? Um, I am so very sorry, but uh, this time I could not bring Homer back to life. What? Yo, where's my body? Oh, you used up all your clones, you fat, 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 reckless fat pig. From now on, you're just going to be a face on a monitor. Hey, kids, want to chase Grandpa Homer around the house? I do. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a reboot. Just stick the tip of your pen in that little hole and hold it for 15 minutes. No, I'm throwing you out of the house. You can live with your no-good son. Hey, what did I do? Nothing for 30 years. <sighs> How are you, Millhouse? Things aren't great with Lisa. If it wasn't for that squirrel that eats our bird food, we'd have nothing to talk about. As I told you when we talked last month, I've been doing a lot of charity work for the undead. So, Dad, what do you think of my place? Why, you little! I'll teach you to emulate my sloppiness! Okay, guys, time for you to go to your mother's. Here's your mom's house. Hi, Jerry. Hey, baby. Hurry, boys. We're going camping this weekend. But our thing was camping. Living out of a car is not camping. <laughs> That's right, babe. <laughs> No. <sighs> Cheer up, Bart. You're working with dinosaurs. Ugh, I miss my kids. Come on, you're free and sleazy. I know some adult dancers that work with my mom. Isn't your mom 87? <laughs> Brains! Actually, Terrence, this is a synthetic substance devised for zombie vegans. Or Zegans. Play some. Yeah! One more injection in two weeks and you're cured. But until then, you may experience some zombieism. <laughs> brains. No, oh, those are just teaching brains. I don't think I'm ready for this, man. Dude, it's been two years since the divorce. You know, at my job, I satisfy ladies even bigger than you. Um, I feed dinosaurs. Third, you have to leave. You're bumming out everybody, and you have like a goat beard stuck to your shoe. Huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? Man, that's some targeted advertising. This sentence. Wow, it works. I'm completely over my ex-wife. Do you take wedding bands as tips? Put it in the jar. Hi, Karumba, I have moved on. Hey, passable looking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just a little creeped out by that screensaver. Nothing to worry about. He's been frozen like that for days. Wow, now I see why they call you Miss Hoover. He must have been vacuuming for an hour. Anything to please my man. So, was it good for you? Good is not a concept in my culture! <laughs> Give me your wallet! <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. What seems to be the oopsie here? The old millhouse would have been helpless with an asthma attack. You know, Dad really misses you. Well, I don't miss his nonsense. There's a lot of stuff he blamed on raccoons that I'm starting to suspect was him. Hey, Homer, your robot body finally came. Oh, time. Huh, huh. Huh, you boys look happy. Yeah, but Mom's sad. Jerry moved out. <laughs> I thought he was the one, Bart. 
He's the fool. You're great. We should have dinner sometime. Hey, Dad, can you watch the boys? Sure. You know, this was a great evening. Buddy, to Moe's. Hey, you're kind of quiet tonight, Homer. Uh. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, open your stance a little there. Oh, yeah, that did. Do your worst, kid. <gasps> Come on, look at your grandpa, boy. Mm. Guys, sit down. Our lives are gonna change a little. Uh-oh, this is never good. This is good. Your father and I are gonna try to make it work again. Like a classic rock band whose holdout member finally needs money. Aren't you going to work, Dad? One of us has to stay home with you guys. And your mom can't quit her job at Google. They need my help hunting down those self-driving cars that turned evil. Oh, you passed another rest stop. I am not stopping again. <laughs> Bill House, you were supposed to come see me today for your final anti-zombie injection. Yes, well, uh, he's so much more interesting this way. <laughs> so, that earring I lost in the teleport, turns out it's in Florida. Yes! That's not a listening to me, yes. You're watching something. You know, I knew it. Well, you're not paying attention to me. You're texting. Oh, I thought this time things were going to be different. What are you doing here? I have to decide whether to make Millhouse <sighs> human again. Mom, I gotta know. Once and for all, what is the secret? Why did you stay with Dad so long? The only way I know is when you make a decision that comes from your heart, you stick with it. Wait, Mom, does that mean you're gonna take Dad back? Nope, I'm gonna join him forever. <laughs> I can't tell if that was love, suicide, or a, a really boring video game. Lisa, your husband is fine. So, Jenda, I don't know what love is, but I know what it isn't. And we're isn't. Yeah, you're right. That's why I started seeing Jerry again without telling you. Wait, what am I doing back here? You never left. Everything that you experienced between when I flipped the switch and now, it was all a dream. And now you can go home. Wow, I'm free. Get ready, world. I've got a whole new set of mistakes to make. I hope things work out with you and Millhouse. But if they don't, I know just where you should go. Thanks, but Millhouse and I are in a pretty good place. Even though he's not a zombie anymore? No, that's what happened in your false memories. There is no cure for zombieism. After 35 years of marriage, we've finally gotten it right. Yes. Even my personality has gotten, shall we say, an upgrade. Oh, that's a bit of a woohoo. Bad flower from dead husband. Huh? A library selling books? If I don't want them for free, why would I want to pay for them? Why do you always wait till we arrive to complain? I don't know. Good heavens. Lisa, you're not buying more than your weight in books. Well, what about this? The Duff Book of World Records. It's got pictures of deformities. Okay. <laughs> well, I say the most clothes pins a man could attach to his face is 87. Peace, my people. Jeez, I was wrong. But I ain't angry. And I'm magnanimous in victory. Wow, that's the best book I've ever seen. The world's most overrated saint. Francis of Assisi. Oh, I've used up all these records. Why don't you try to set a record, Dad? That's a great idea. <laughs> I'm here to break a world record. What's the longest anyone's ever done this? Three years. Mr. Simpson, there are thousands of people like you with no discernible talent. All the individual records were set by crackpots who have killed themselves. The only way someone new can get in the book is with some kind of group stunt. Group stunt? What? I don't... We're going to build the world's tallest human pyramid. Finally, this town will have a real claim to fame. Aye, we can stop all the lies. 
Ah, my vision is coming to life! Hey! Hey, thanks! Great! No mas! No mas! You're about a foot short of the record. Oh. Oh. Dude, you're touching my hand! Ew! Divide by the number of people, subtract belts and shoes. <gasps> Welcome to the Duff Book of World Records. Springfield is the world's fattest town. Fat City, USA! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Everyone's celebrating their obesity. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So fat. Mom, we're at a frosting gob. But at least Homer can have a nice, healthy grapefruit. Yeah, you can improve on nature. <laughs> I am sorry, but everything in this store, from the honey glazed cauliflower to the choco blasted baby aspirin, comes from the Mother Loving Sugar Corporation. Well, I'm going to have a talk with them. Excuse me, I'm looking for the head of Mother Loving Sugar. Yes, I'm Garth Mother Loving. I want you to stop putting so much sugar in everything. <laughs> hey! Look, lady, if you have a problem, bring it up with your sewing circle, okay? But we're on hiatus. Everyone's everywhere. Note to Marge, get out! Wait, you went to a sugar factory? Were there Oompa Loompas? There was one in a cage, but he wasn't moving. Uh. Why don't you file a class action suit? Oh, yeah. We want to sue the sugar industry for selling a harmful product. We have to sign up plaintiffs and take depositions from the townspeople. Oh, shoot, I'll sign. I'll get down with your lawsuit. Disco Stu got hooked on the white stuff back in the 70s. <laughs> <sighs> Well, well, if it isn't the woman who's too busy saving the world to save her own marriage. <laughs> so, Professor, tell us about Operation Hoyven Maven. Well, we knew perfectly well it was addictive. Candy was just a sugar delivery system. We thought we were God, Hoyven Maven. Now, Count Fudula, how long were you spokes vampire for Mother Loving's breakfast cereals? Twenty of your mortal years. But I had to quit when my fangs succumbed to gingivitis. I rule in favor of Marge Simpson. Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of you. And thanks to Marge Simpson's damning evidence, I hereby ban all sugar products from Springfield forever. I was just trying to make this a healthier place to live. Well, good work, Blue Hair and Brocco Witch. That's it, boys. Burn it all. Even this promotional Johnny Depp from the movie Chocolat? We mounted for him. Now he's gonna do likewise. Uh, sugar! Need sugar! Hey, they're not riding the white horse anymore. My baby! Where's my baby? Nothing left! Nothing left! <clears throat> there is a small group committed to bringing sugar back to this town by any means necessary. I'm with you all the way, but first... Gentlemen, I have found the final member of our cabal. Is it really worth risking your lives just for some sugar? 
Dessert's on! I steam some limes! Gatsby. How's he doing? I think he's grossed out by some seaweed. Ew, I touched it! Over! Okay, man, here's the sugar. Now you give us the money. That wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> That's right. Who wrote this thing? Hold it right there! Surrender or prepare to be sunk! No way! We'll defy you to the death! Stroke, stroke, stroke! Good work, Simpson. Before I bring the sugar in, I want to see the Oompa Loompa. He's right over there. That guy is freaky. Please, homie, dump the sugar for me. He's a sugary bride. And uh, now that I think of it, I wildly exceeded my authority. And I declare the sugar ban over. Can we, Mom? Can we? Please, please, please? Oh, all right. Maybe I should just stop trying to change the world. No, Marge. I love when you do that. You're a regular Karen Alatovich. Mm, that's the best one. That's what I...